Hi guys, it's Johnny here with another Lightroom tip and I want to show you how to quickly find your keepers after a photo shoot. And there's just three simple things you need to remember. Um, before I start but I wanted to mention that if you head over to johnnyspencer.com um, I'm always putting new Lightroom tips up there and there's already, already a heap there. So um, yeah, it'd be great if you want to check out some more Lightroom tips, head over to johnnyspencer.com. Alright guys, let's get into finding your keepers fast. The first thing you need to do is head on up to photo in the menu and go down and select auto advance. So I'll tell you what that does in a minute, but make sure the tick is next to auto advance under the photo menu. Okay, the next thing you need to know is if this film strip looks like this, bring your film strip right up as high as possible. And, and I'll show you why in a minute. The next thing you wanna do is make the first image full size on your screen. Okay, so the reason I bring the, full, the, the film strip right up high is often Sometimes Lightroom takes a bit of time to build the previews for the image and sometimes you can't tell whether they're sharp or it's not quite the, quite the you know, by the entire image. But bringing that film strip up at the bottom, it actually allows me to get a bit of a decent preview of that image before Lightroom renders the full preview at the top. So often, you know, with these images like this, of course someone stepped in front of me there while I was shooting, they would be immediate reject. So I don't even have to look at the main image, I can just go ahead and reject those ones fast as. So. All right, the next thing you need to remember, guys, is there's two keyboard shortcuts. X is for reject and P is for pick. So the ones you want to keep, you hit the P button and you're going to flag them as a pick. And the ones you don't want to keep and edit, well, you may want to keep them, <laughs> but you mightn't want to edit them. They mightn't be your, your prime images that you want to edit for your portfolio or for the web or whatever you're editing for. But um, So X and P, guys. So the ones I want to edit are going to be flagged with a P for a pick, and the ones I'm going to not edit and reject are going to be flagged with the X key for reject. And what Auto Advanced does, if you see this image I'm going to flag as a pick right now with the P key. So if I hit pick, you can see Light Lightroom's done, has jumped immediately to the next image. And that's what Auto Advanced does, guys. And it saves you so much time. If Auto Advanced was not enabled, you would have to hit your X or P key and then hit the right arrow key to jump to the next image. So it just saves you that bit of time there when you're shooting through your images really, really fast. All right, guys, so the next thing I need to do is just go through, find my picks, and uh, and reject my <laughs> rejects. <laughs> Funny enough. All right, so the first one's a pick. Uh, pick, reject, 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 reject. And you can see I went pretty, pretty crazy with these images. Oh, I don't mind that. It's kind of cute. That's cool. And I won't go through all these guys, but you're getting the idea. I'm just using the P key to pick. Actually, I like that one better. I'm going to go back and reject that one. All right, so reject, 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 reject. It's kind of cool. He looks up there. That's nice, like that one when he's looking at me. All right, guys, so you get the idea. You can see how fast I'm shooting through those images and finding my keepers. So the next thing you want to do is to sort, to find out which ones you picked and which ones you reject. So on the filter bar down the bottom, you'll see next to filter, you've got the three flags there. So the first flag with the tick is your picks. The second flag with the dotted outline are your unflagged images. And the third flag are your rejects. So let me go through and I'll show you the ones I picked. So if I hit the first flag, it's going to show me everything I flagged with a P. Now if I hit the G, the G key, and I'll move that uh, film strip out of the way. If I hit the G key, it's going to put it in grid mode. So let me just make those thumbnails a little bit bigger there. And I just wanted to show you something. The top corner of the thumbnails, you can see there is a solid flag. And that means these images have been picked. And if I was to go over to the rejected images, you can see the top, there's a flag with an X. And that shows that these images have been rejected. All right, so let's go back to the picks. The one last thing I wanted to recommend you do with your picks now that you've found them before you start editing is hit Command A and use whatever you would like. I tend to use labels, and why I would use a label now is I want to flag these images in a different way. I want to label these images or flag these images in a different way other than just using the pick. Because you can quite easily unflag, reject, an image and it gets lost in your library again. So I would recommend you use a second way of flagging your pick. So often what I will do down here on the toolbar, um, if the toolbar is not there, often this is something that happens. If you press T, you can accidentally bump T and your toolbar goes away. So you press T again, that'll bring it back if it's not there. Um, I will hit Command A, so all my picks are selected and I'll use a red label as well. So that just ensures that I know which images are the ones I want to edit just in case I accidentally unflag them or 
or move them somewhere else anyway. So there you go. So guys, that's about it. Now you can just go ahead and edit your images up. Um, it's as quick as that, guys. And once you get that workflow down, you won't go back. It's so fast finding your keepers. And you'll find often when you're looking for your keepers, it's your first glance at an image often is the one that often is the, is the right choice, you know. Often we sit there pondering over an image, wondering, ah, oh, is it a keeper, is it not? If you see an image and you go, yep, that's the one, normally, normally you're spot on. And the more you do that, the easier it's going to get, guys. All right, guys, that's it for today. That's how you find your keepers fast in Lightroom. So please head on over to johnnyspencer.com if you're looking for more Lightroom tips. And uh, thanks for watching, guys. Have a great day.